early in design, as we often do, we ask the client to uh, develop a vision statement. And what became clear out of development of that statement is that First Tech is a people-first kind of organization. So they were looking for a building that would reinforce that idea of people first. I'm Scott Barton-Smith, project architect with Hacker Architects. This is a 150,000 square foot office building for First Tech Federal Credit Union here in Hillsboro, Oregon. First Tech's first great decision was the selection of this site, and it's great because it's surrounded by this terrific park. Wood structure was an early idea that we presented to the client um, to make a building that was in line with our idea of making a people first space. The big idea for the architecture is the building is the park, so we designed the building to take greatest advantage of that asset. For example, the natural topography of the site continues into the building. The floor slab literally steps up the hill and culminates in a area that we call the commons, which is where all of First Tech uh, meets together, and that's the topography coming into the site. Natural light, views of the outdoors, encouraging people to exercise, all of that is part of um, making a people for a space. And not the least of those is using natural wood in the building, which people have a natural affinity for. Because wood is a finished material, as well as being a structural material, of course you want to expose it wherever you can. So the, the wood ceilings that you see here are actually the structural decks of the building. So it was important to us to reduce clutter by actually moving most of the utilities that would commonly be running overhead in an office space down under the floor. We have a raised access floor in this project so that only sprinklers and lights are above your head. Uh, that lends to a much um, cleaner appearance to the whole structure and allows you to enjoy the wood more. One of the advantages of CLT is its spanning capability. Um, we used a five and a half inch thick CLT panel that was able to span the 12 feet between these beams in such a way that we didn't need to have a perimeter beam that you often see in an office building above a window. That allowed us to run the windows from the floor all of the way up to the structural deck, allowing daylight to penetrate deeper into the space. A wood structure also has a material efficiency, and what I mean by that is that wood at once is the structure itself, it is also its own fireproofing, and then of course it is the finished material that everybody wants to see. If you were doing this project out of steel, the steel would be the structure and then you would have to apply fireproofing, and then you would apply some other finish. Wood is much lighter than steel. So the selection of wood in this building allowed us to go with less expensive uh, foundations simply because they didn't have to carry as much load as you would have in a concrete or steel building. And that's a real economic savings. Instead, you can put that money into the experience of the space rather than burying all, all of that money underground. One of the great things about this project was everybody was so enthusiastic. The architect, the contractor, and the owner, of course, but in this case, the city was also excited about mass timber. Um, the engineers and the suppliers were also very enthusiastic. So it was a wonderful project because it just felt like terrific teamwork the whole time. This project is just another example of how versatile wood is. Um, it seems to be kind of a new trend in the industry, but really wood has been around forever. And it's nice to have new technologies like cross-laminated timber that allow us to explore new options in wood and deliver wood to new project types. People are very excited about it and I think this project will lead to many more like it.